man, he practices what he preaches. He's absolutely one of the best individuals. In, you know, forget Hollywood. I mean, just as a human being. Should be fun. I love Ernest. He's my good friend. He's always been very encouraging, very inspiring, very motivational, and he's the most spiritual person I've ever met. Uh, that be cussing. But <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Hey, hey, keeping it real. I, I already had bought the book a couple of months ago, and I read it. And I just want to say that Ernest had a love affair with a famous R&B singer that's going to shock people when you read the book. Mm. Grammy Award winning, several Grammys, American Music Awards. Mm -hmm. They was together. Mm. And I was like, I called him and said, you didn't tell me that. He said, that's why you bought the book. <laughs> Comedian person, great spirit, and very authentic. No BS with him. Flat out. Great, great guy. He would tell these stories, and I didn't, you know, know if they were kind of true, or if he was just embellishing. Exactly. <laughs> but then, I, I actually said, like, you should write a book about that. And then he actually writes a book and get everything out there. But, uh, very, uh, supportive person. Um, we, uh, were in a production together where he played my father, and, uh, just a great guy. It's, it's a wonderful actor, a uh, wonderful personality, and a legend, TV legend. Well, we want to thank you all for supporting Ernest, and you can tell Ernest gets a lot of love, and it's earned, so thank you all so much. We wish you a lot, Ernest. We wish you a lot of love. It's a great homage to uh, Ernest, um, his life, his career. I grew up watching what's happening like a lot of us did, and, you know, just, you know, that, that was, um, that, that, that was a part of my childhood that, that I remember fondly and just watching those shows. He's always so positive and encouraged, encouraging. And being able to read his book and read his story, it's motivating. And he's just a really nice, down-to-earth guy. Um, I definitely knew that I had to be here. I knew I had to get the book, and I knew I had to be here to support um, because he's a phenomenal man, phenomenal man. You gotta get this book. It's a, such a powerful book. Uh, a lot of people think that when Raj, when you hear the character, you, you think he's already rich. Right. But you have to understand, it's a spiritual richness for the most part. You can't get on earth. So he went from physical rich to a spiritual rich. He's just a good man and I'm so excited to be able to support him, to hear his story so that I can grow and uh, keep myself from falling into the same tracks uh, or the same you know issues that he might have fallen into and also be an inspiration to someone else. This event was so important, especially for Ernest, because it's so long overdue. The truth, and, and you know this better than anybody. You've been around him just as long as I have. I mean, he has, you know, I tell him all the time is that he's an icon and he doesn't even know it. And the way that Terry Crews described him in there is absolutely positively true. I mean, that's just the way he is. I mean, he's he's kind to everybody. He shows always a sense of professionalism. And I could not imagine uh, him being any other way or any other place in the way in which he was today. This this book is so, so earnest, and I couldn't be just so more proud of him. I, there was no way in the world I'd miss this important day for Ernest, no way. I want y'all to know that this is not only, uh, this is a family uh, affair, these are friends. You see the love that Ernest is getting and that pours over into the book. So make sure you go and get the book. Yeah, it's so important because we don't see a lot of that with people, you know, very often. We always, uh, you know, when we see friends, we always think of it in a different way. But with Ernest, it's not, you know, when you're his friend, you're his friend for life. And it's so, you know, it's a very important thing. And I know you know this because, you know, you've been the same way with him for all these years. And so I'm really, really grateful for an opportunity of a lifetime for him. So long over, and the most important thing he said is that he wanted to leave a sense of a legacy. And many people don't say that very often, and he definitely needed that. Well, I am here with Mr. Ernest L. Thomas, and this is his book, Signing of From Raj to Riches. Now, we talked, and I've known you for quite a while, and um, but this is an amazing day. I want you to tell them how you got from landing here, the story about you getting here, and then getting to this book, and what that means to you. Well, yeah, this has been a 41-year journey, you know, and that's the miracle of today, you know. Uh, and I knew this book would, this book would be a testimony to God first, a love letter to my fans, because over the 41 years, 
people have asked me, how did I make it? But not only that, they tell me intimate details of their life and their problems, you know? Uh, young ladies have told me they were molested by their fathers. They have told me about uh, attempting suicide. So they tell me the most intimate details of their life. So the answer I tell them, put, that's why the book is called Overcoming Life Through Faith. Show business and life through faith because it is um, putting God first, working every day like it's your last. Your feelings are traitors to your soul. That's the hardest one. That's the hardest nut to crack. So you're going to feel like staying in bed. You're going to feel like going home. You're going to feel like giving up. You know, but when you want a supernatural goal, like I wanted to be the lead in a television show, I asked God for it, so I had to cry a river of tears to get there. Trust me. But no one saw those tears. Never show anyone the negative. No one should ever show anyone when you're crying or I, I'm worried about something. Give that all to, to the secret place of the Most High, which is God. Now, uh, excommunicate anyone that doesn't believe in your dream. Do it with love. Just tell them, look, that's all your little friends that you grew up with, and they, all, they were funny back then, but now they're an enemy to your dream. So you tell them, look, I'm on a mission from God, and when God is done with me, then I can talk to you. But right now, I won't be in communication until God tells me. But I love you, God bless you. Then God will send you people who are like mind, like spirit, and then you will ascend. And when you act as it work as uh, like every day is your last, God catapults you over the competition. Because what you're doing is, you're doing what 99% of the people are not doing. You're appreciating every second that God gave you. You know that tomorrow is not promised. So when you say that, God, I appreciate every second, he catapults you above all your competition. Now you got like mind, like spirits. You're not speaking a negative. You're working every day like it's your last, putting God first, excommunicating the, 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 the naysayers. That's when it happens. But you got to be willing to pay that price. You all make sure you go and get the book from Rise to Riches. It's rich in life, inspiration, stories, and understand how God took this young man from Raj to Riches. Thank you. Appreciate Thank you, bro. Love Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.